Hey, bros. Saw it. So this is Mike Cashman. I'm a good long-time friend, and this is his favorite time of year. I'm all around 2K16. And where are we headed? Miami. Right? I tell you, if I told you, you'd have to die. I have to kill you. So we're gonna go try to find some pods on the beach. We're going to Old Faithful. Tell us. We're gonna do some a uh, little bit of prospecting before we get there. Uh huh. Tell us how you feel about your floor, Carbon. $38 for this. It's just gonna get cut off anyways. You're gonna use too much, and then you gotta cut it. Ridiculous. Yo, Zuri, if it. you wanna sponsor us, we'll be happy. This is the second beach we've checked, and first beach had mullet in it, this one none. And it's rough. A lot rougher than the first spot. Mega storm to the north of us. Me and Mike just got out here and there's pods everywhere up and down the beach and he's trying to snag one, they're far out, we can't cast net him, but it is rough. And the wind is going to eat the microphone today, for sure. Brand new spank stall. Mike's going with the J's today, I'm going with the circles. J hook, circle hook. So we didn't have any weights, so this is our uh, ingenuity right here. Put a diamond jig on. There we go. Yeah, boy. What happened? Bluefish. Bluefish? Come on. That is not what we're trying to catch. And you cast them off. I think I just got eaten. Yeah, we're on. Wait. Nope, we're off, we're off. Come on, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Something's eating it. I think Bluefish is eating it. Yep, Bluefish ate me off. Or Black Tip cut me off. So what I'm trying to do is I hook them in the butt and you keep tension on your mullet and when there's tension on them they tend to want to swim away from it and out and I'm trying to get them right on the outside edge of the school on the inside of the surf line right in the trough right here. It's nice overcast conditions. We got no boats on this school, nobody else fishing this school. It's amazing that there's this many people in the state of Florida and nobody's fishing here. I don't understand that sometimes. It does kind of suck that it's a little rough, but the bite's better, but it's just harder to fish when it's like this. I haven't seen any tarpon blow up or anything in a while though. That's usually how it is with these schools. They'll be on for 30 minutes, then they'll stop. Then they may be on for 15 minutes, then they'll stop. Then they might be on for an hour, it's always different. But when it's on, it's on, and they usually eat everything. Change of plan. I'm gonna go put the GoPro housing on that's waterproof, and I'm going in because I'm not able to cast my own out far enough.
There he goes. There he goes. Oh! Get him, Mike. Got him on. Oh! Spit it. Just like that. I got. I got all those jumps on video. You don't know what it is yet? Huh? Oh. for them all to come close sure that's because it's way too deep to go out there now if we figured out that we had to go on the sandbar earlier it would have been over with that one damn yeah black tip Me and Mike are headed back now, headed down south. We got our asses good. handed to us though. Almost ground about 10 times. Swimming in like neck deep water at multiple points. Mike was swimming in neck deep, neck deep water with sharks around. It was a little, a little spooky. A little it's like you always hear everyone getting bit by sharks and it's always at dusk, which we were fishing when it's rough, which we were fishing. A lot of bait fish. A lot of bait fish, perfect conditions for us to get bit, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes to get your bites. We followed this pod for like two hours going back and forth just doing circles and we were just not getting bit. And then we finally figured out that we had the sandbar. Yeah, we had to walk to the sandbar and it was super rough and the current was raging, so like it was it was not easy. It was pretty rough getting out there. So we got out. Yeah, Black we kept swimming everywhere right between us. Yeah, not many people would probably get in the water. We saw so many sharks and we caught a well, we caught a few. Well, we caught one, never mind. We lost two sharks. But we got out there and you get to the sandbar, but as soon as your mullet is at the edge of the school for like 10 seconds, it is game over. Your mullet gets crushed every time. Every every mullet every that was in the in the pod or near the pod, instant bite. Yep. And we had a uh, we went to the beach with a snag rod and we didn't have any weights so we put a diamond jig at the end and I can't tell you how many times we reeled it in and a bluefish or jack would eat it, not even trying. That was just, that was our form of a weight because we didn't have any weights with us. And that's- It was pretty lit. Yeah, it was lit for sure. But that's the way you gotta do it. Cast nets are too bulky, too heavy, you scare the fish, you gotta use a snag rod and it's easy, you just carry it. And like today, you would have never been able to net mullet with the cast net today. They were way too far off the beach. and. The bite was very good, but towards the end of the day, they started to move further and further offshore and we weren't able to get into them. Like we were casting as far as we could and we were not hitting them at all. 60 yards. Yeah, they were far out there, but I'll tell you what, that was one of the best bites I've ever seen and tarpon were blowing up everywhere. It was, it's just sick to experience as a fisherman. 
If you guys watched to the end of this video, make sure to like the damn video. If you didn't like the video, make sure to like the damn video. If you absolutely hated the video, make sure to like the damn video. If you guys watched the video, comment below, Muller Run 2K16.